Kara from Indie Arts Creations. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to work on a blow dryer piece. I got in a nice response. I'm feeling a little more comfortable doing it. Um, but I'm not going to drench the canvas with a negative space. I think we're going to go a little dry. I'm going to put some white on the canvas, but not a lot. Um, no, I think I'm just going to do blues. So, um, I had asked a classmate of mine because she was so gracious. I wasn't feeling well earlier this week and, um, I was feverish and my body was aching and actually she's recovering from COVID-19 and somehow we were talking, I think I made a center of painting or something, but nonetheless, um, she was just so sweet. Once she found out that I wasn't feeling well, she checked on me every day and um, that really meant a lot to me. So we were talking and I just happened to ask her like some of her favorite colors and she said navy and some blues with a pop of yellow. And I was like, you know what? I am going to do that. So that's what we're working with. We have navy. Um, I'm not sure on a turquoise yet. We have a light blue and then another medium color blue. So again, it's going to be a blow dry. I think we're going to try to do dry as possible. Um, most of the times you want a negative space for this. Um, I just don't want the colors to, let's see, um, muddy, so hopefully, or get too light because of the white. I am going to put some white down at some point, but let's just drench the canvas and see where we go from there. So again, I hope everyone's having a good day. Again, this painting is for, um... My dear classmate, Jamie. Mm -hmm. In any type of way, really, I'm just putting the colors on, I should say, any type of way. Um, However the mood hits me is how these colors are going on this canvas. I wasn't sure about the turquoise because um, when you're doing blues, I mean, a lot of blues are nice. I just want them to play well together. That's why I wasn't really sure. So I'm going to start. You're going to hear the blow dryer. Um, and then I'm going to see how much white I need to add from there. see but there's some nice cells popping up um i'm sure i won't probably be able to preserve them all but we will try as best we can they might pop back in for us once we put down some um or no excuse me once i torch it we might get some more cells so we didn't have enough paint down, so putting some more paint. And here is where I'm going to add some white to give us some, um, so that the paint flows. And that's one of the reasons why you have negative space. Looks like I'm running out of that. I have more. It's just not an excuse problem.
So I'm liking it. I'm getting more comfortable with the blow dryer. Um, so when she said she wanted some, she liked a couple of pops of yellow, I was excited. I have this deeper yellow that's a deep yellow hue, but then I also have a bright yellow, and I figured I wanted to try to do both of them, and I think that both of them will pop. Um, let's see. I am... Let's see, I'm trying to see where I think I, what I need to do. I'm wondering about this blue right here, and then this white, I'm not kind of a fan of. So let's see, I'm gonna put a little. When I do the pop, I think I'm gonna kind of go in the middle a little bit. Um. Okay, so <sighs> here goes. We're going to start with bright yellow. I said we're going to start with, but I think I'm going to put them both down at the same time. Um, opposite swirls. Because again, we just wanted to pop just a little bit. So, here goes. Oh, she didn't pop the Exactly pop the way that I wanted it to um, but I don't want to lose most of the composition we have and as we see now some of the yellow has given us a little green but we kind of do already know that yellow and blue make green let me see something um, my temperamental friend doesn't always like to work let me try to put it up a little bit the flame that is like it um I wish the yellow would have moved more right here um let's see it's so funny like I don't know if you can see but this is like really the canvas right there so I have to color that up this is the canvas right here I need to cover that up um I really like the composition right here um yeah, I mean, I didn't want the yellow to be too much. I didn't want it to take over. I just wish it would have moved just a little more for me, like right in here. Uh, so, let's see. And you know what? I do like the deep hue, but I do like that bright yellow. That bright yellow is really nice. All right, we don't really want to do that. All right, tilting it isn't really going to do anything for us. So, let's see. I'm going to try to see one more time if I can move this a little bit. If not, we might just leave well enough alone. And I got to go right here. Maybe go 
go right here. about this. <sighs> I oh, forgot I don't have any more white in there. Hmm. I think I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it because sometimes I try to overthink and I try to do more and then it winds up not being what I would have liked. So I will look forward to your comments. <laughs> I am going to take it down. Hmm. I don't know about this. Let me see something. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, right in here. I'm just not feeling that. And I'm looking for something to scrape it. Believe it or not. Miss, I wasn't going to do anything. Hmm. I think I'm going to try to go over it. Uh, no, I think it's too much paint. Hold on for one sec. Um, so. I think I'm going to scrape this part right here. To me, it just got a little muddy. And so, I'm just going to do that over again. I think I'll do a little dark. So let's see how that goes. The dryer off when you're trying to put more paint down. Mm -hmm. Oh, right before I put that paint down. There were cells forming, but I didn't see them in time. I'm going to take it down, clean up a little, and I will bring you in for a close-up. Hi, I'm back.
back for another close-up. I actually didn't like that little bit of yellow. And so I just made a slight modification. I just added a little more yellow. Um, I did have to rework the lower left corner. Um, I don't want to say as a result of it, but I, worked, I reworked the left corner. Um, so this is what she looks like now i will come out but because the canvas is so big i'll still have to kind of like do it in pieces i thank you for your support and time to jamie please get well thank you for the inspiration with these colors i think it came out nice um, and for everybody in the fight with COVID-19, I wish you all a speedy recovery. Until we meet again, cheers to painting.